What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. During last night's Banless Party livestream, we got into an intense Ultimate Dumpster Fire challenge against none other than the Blade Waijo, who was a pretty good sport about getting Chant to, you know, egg him on into this duel, and it turned out to be one for the ages. If you don't know what a Dumpster Fire challenge is on the streams, it's a Highlander-style format. That means just one of each card can be played, 60 cards in the main, and then the extra deck, of course, the same rules, only one of of each card and we did a full two out of three match let's just go ahead and get into it and then we'll show you the deck that was made all the cards come from chat by the way so it's just the random most sporadic duel that you'll see a lot of luck is needed but skill plays a part too and you can bet with blade having a recent you know somewhat recent premier top with his uds that this is gonna be a good one so i win the dice roll aka rock paper scissors and i decide to go second against him because look i want the extra advantage but i actually get locked out of my monster reborn by him having necro valley he doesn't play any monsters into my pinker tops so what is my best option rather than risking giving him free advantage we're gonna go and show him the enraged battle locks the original piercer going in for 1700 but he has another old answer back with thunder nyan nyan b and it's not going to be destroying itself because well he doesn't have any non-light monsters right now that does open me up to be able to summon my pancratops i'm gonna reveal bigfoot he's gonna hit the chaos max i'm gonna get to slam in for massive damage and a huge swing here i'm reminded that i didn't draw for my danger i got excited i may be a little bit too loose but it is a fun duel nonetheless and he is down early now this baby dragon squad summon is about to get insane because he has pineapple blast all the way back from pharaoh's servant this card when you normal summon a monster if your opponent controls more monsters than you do destroy your opponent's monsters so that your opponent controls the same number as you well my pancreatops isn't going to destroy this because then it's a full board wipe so i'm going to activate pancreatops effect to take care of necro valley and there it goes he sets a card i get my skarm in phase we were never forgetting all those people with tattoos of it I was never forgetting Skarm. And then I get the extra draw. I actually get into Magician Soul. My Monster Reborn is live now. The Cup of Ace goes, and it is always heads. Thank you, Ryan Levine. I play my Skyscraper for the style points. We attack with Pankertops. We're going for game, and we are blocked off by Blade's signature card. He topped with Salomon Greats using this at the UDS, and it saves him here, and it's going to be a complete turnaround despite everything I have going for me. Watch this. He has a set one. I'm going to take care of it with Pankratops, it's a chalice, and I'm going the heck in. I'm discarding for this effect and getting the extra dig. He has Effect Veiler, and his final card, you won't believe it, is Battle Fader. Not staged, rips the freaking card of demise off the top next turn no other card in his deck gives him that much access to power and he's going in tribe infecting virus with a further glow up bulb to pop off later taking care of my bigfoot and now how the tables have turned he sets i'm going to summon i'm going to take care of battle fader it's gonna it should be banished but you know things happen and he goes to his turn he has instant fusion for mud dragon changes its attribute to fit for Naturia Beast, and just like this, the entire duel has been swung around. My cards are just dead, pretty much, compared to what he has going for him. But he is at 200 damage. Now, my tour guide has no searchers. I summon Time Wizard here. We go for the coin flip after pineapple blasting his own move back on him and uh it doesn't go so hot for me i take the damage and i take more i need the top deck i call hard of the cards i have stratos skyscraper already on the field because i committed it to field earlier and that reads game he had a big foot in hand with nothing for it to destroy and nothing else to help him try to risk the summon we go to game two on that crazy note Starting off, he makes me go first, having learned from me. It looks like I have a really good spread of traps. I don't want to commit my monster yet until I can back it up with Moon Mirror Shield. And now this Battle Lock's going in once again, and it doesn't look like he's drawing many options here. Finally sets a card, and it is Baby Dragon. He actually should have taken Piercing Damage there. He does, and it's only 100 because no matter what, the Moon Mirror Shield 
turns it down if it's at a disadvantage, so it becomes 800 attack. We continue our rampaging beatdown, but finally he has an answer. Sky Striker maneuver after burners is going to go ahead and pop, but he does not have an extra spell to get to go for one of my back rows. The Moon Mirror Shield goes back on top because I have the Instant Fusion, but I'm going to stop him from stealing my Enraged Battle Ox with his Reborn using Warning. And now we Instant Fusion. We're going for the Majesty Sphere, and he has Solemn Judgment, the Solemn Wars, and the Duel are real. He's so low, but I have nothing to be able to attack him with. Wow. And I get to Pinkertops. I need him to play something. He Skyscrapers. I Skyscraper back. We're going in with Skarm. United, we stand. Is it enough? No. His signature card saves him once again, and he draws. And he reveals Danger Bigfoot. This time, he discards Chaos Max. Very ironic there. Activates Wave Motion Cannon, starting a clock on me, who's at 4,500 life points. Attacks over the Skarm. That's going to give me Tour Guide with no targets left in deck since the Skarm's gone. And now, we summon Pink. We summon Bigfoot. It's starting to look a little familiar. Here it comes. We have Goza Match. We're going to go ahead and attack over for that 100 and go in for game. Blade, finally falls in battle and this intensive match oh what a good one actually for a dumpster fire challenge i really like how this turned out and he shows some other things that he had while we're just talking in the chat unfortunately we were playing copyrighted music at the time on stream so i can't use those clips or those kind of things for reactions but Wow, what a freaking game. Let's go ahead and get into the deck profile of what chat chose. Starting in alphabetical order, Ancient Gear Golem, Battle Fader you saw came in hot, ooh woo, what's this? Beat Bladesman for hire, Black Luster Soldier, always a friendly face to see, although we have the Ritual version too, unfortunately. Condemned Witch, we do have Forbidden Chalice for her. Cyber Dragon's usually stronger. We didn't get the extra deck Mega Fleet for him. Bigfoot and Pink just back to back coming in hot during the duels. Valor saving Blade almost. Stratos MVP of game one. And Rage of Battle Ox old school beat. Phantasme not showing up really. It's 60 cards. Not everything's going to show up unless we get to game three usually. We do see that the Glow Up Bulb came in clutch to be able to make Naturia Beast with the Instant Fusion. One of the only plays that can come together for that in this entire deck. Karibo, Lava Golem for tributing opponents' problem cards. Magician Souls interesting because people were looking for the legendary cards and also the new format within this while choosing cards we allowed that as you see avarice below maiden of aqua i wonder why you would choose this chat totally you guys and not me for the final card majesty sphinx could have been such a player orbital hydralander this is one of the best because hydralander is a play on Highlander format, and his effect is too. I love that kind of word pun. Princess of Sarugi going all the way back to the old school burn. Skarm, we kept drawing you instead of the tour guide. Shadow Tamer, hmm, who else would possibly want this in the deck building challenge chat? Calling her a mommy earlier during the stream. Ray, no longer the bay. Thunder Nyan Nyan, Time Wizard, tour guide. Tribe Infecting, because he is released off the list. Seven Color Fish for the memes. Baby Dragon Squad. Trihorn for the ARA coming up with our two rituals that can also be summoned with the Chaos Swarm ahead. Allure of Darkness, Book of Moon, uh, Card Admise. Really good job on the spells overall. Cup of Ace is always fun in a dumpster fire. Deanne Keto. Ugh. We've got Enemy Controller, Forbidden Chalice, Inferno Tempest, Instant Fusion, Monster Reborn, Moon Mirror Shield, Necro Valley, Pot of Avarice, which actually kind of clashes with that card, being a non-factor within these duels. Pre-prep would have been kind of nice to see. Uh, Sekka's Light, Afterburners, Skyscraper, United We Stand, Wave Motion Cannon, Where Art Thou, specifically for the Glow Up Bulb slash Magician Soul. Goes and matches a floodgate. We usually get a couple more floodgates in these when we're going into raided, but they knew that I was facing another Yugi tuber instead of jumping into raided, so they made it even worse than usual, I feel like. Pineapple Blast, whoever did this card, good job. This is perfect dumpster fire fodder. Psalm Judgment, Psalm Morning. And then for the round out here, as you saw, the combo. Dante, Dengirsu, Exiton for in case somebody had a huge swing and we needed to come back. Cowboy, because bang, bang, we were calling time on each other if we hit 40 minutes. Crazy Box, Boral Guard, for some reason always over Boral Load in these challenges. Boral Sword, Isold. I'm not sure how easy it would be to make Isold in this. Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, Link Spider, Proxy Dragon, and Saryuja. 
These are the dumpster fire challenges from our live streams. It usually gets even worse than this, although sometimes better, like I said, for rated, because chat playing all the cards that I'm going to take in to dueling and rated is so fun for them, but it really was way more fun to duel another Yugi tuber. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Tell me who you would like to see me duel next with a dumpster fire challenge. We've done these with Simo in the past as well on stuff like the charity streams and 24 hour streams. Maybe we'll make this a more regular thing and grab some guests to do these. Subscribe if you haven't already. Use my TCG player link in the description down below if you're buying any of these cards to recreate these challenges, which you shouldn't be. Please don't do that. Just just stop yourself. But yeah, it's it's a fun time, I promise. You should try these out for yourself if you ever have like a big enough random pool to like get these crazy cards and do these outlandish duels.